satellites used for broadcasting DTH signals in India. Satellite television is a system for delivering television programming using signals relayed from communication satellites which orbit around the Earth at 35,786 km above the equator in geostationary orbits. The signals are received via an outdoor parabolic reflector antenna usually referred to as a satellite dish and a low noise block down converter, LNB. A satellite receiver then decodes the desired television program for viewing on a television set. Receivers can be external set-top boxes or a built-in television tuner. Broadcast signals may or may not be encrypted. In India DD free dish broadcasts unencrypted signals which can be decoded by generic set-top boxes while commercial operators like Tata Sky, Videocon DTH, Dish TV etc. broadcast encrypted signals which are decrypted based on information in the chip of your smart card. C-band is comprised of analog or digital signals in the 4 to 8 GHz frequency range used for television receive only, TVRO broadcast and requires a larger size of dish antenna, 6 to 8 feet, to receive the signals and is not affected by bad weather conditions like rain. KU band is comprised of digital signals in the 12 to 18 gigahertz frequency range used for direct to home, DTH, broadcast and requires much smaller dish antenna, 2 to 4 feet, to receive the more focused signals but is susceptible to outages during bad weather conditions like heavy rains. The compression standards used for broadcasting DTH signals are of two types. MPEG-2 This is the older standard of signal compression which was used by incumbent DTH operators like Dish TV and DD Freedish where each transponder can carry approximately 20 ST channels, fewer in case of HD. MPEG-4 This is the newest standard of signal compression introduced in 1999 and is being used in India by the newer DTH operators like Airtel Digital. Videocon D2H, Reliance Digital TV, Sun DTH and now since October 2015 even Tata Sky has completed switching over from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4. With this compression standard, each transponder can carry approximately 40 SD channels, fewer in case of HD. Currently, there are six private and one government DTH operators providing service in India. The Department of Space, DOS permits DTH operators to only use satellites commissioned by Indian Space and Research Organization, ISRO, or in case there is insufficient capacity on ISRO satellites then they are permitted to use capacity leased by ISRO from foreign satellites. Satellites being used by Indian DTH operators, INSAT-4A, this is a satellite owned by ISRO, which was launched on 22nd of December 2005 with a mission life of 12 years. Its geostationary position is 83 degrees east longitude. This satellite has 12 KU band transponders all of which are being used by Tata Sky for its SD and HD DTH broadcast using MPEG-4 compression. The transponders have started to function with reduced power as the satellite nears its end of mission life. GSAT-10, this is a satellite owned by ISRO which was launched on 29th of September 2012 with a mission life of 15 years. Its geostationary position is 83 degrees east longitude where it is co-located with INSAT-4A. This satellite has 12 Kuban transponders. Tata Sky is now using all GSAT-10 transponders in addition to existing INSAT-4A to augment its transponder capacity and has already begun adding new channels from this satellite using MPEG-4 compression. ST-2, this is a satellite owned by a joint venture between Singtel and Changhua Telecom, which was launched on 20th of May 2011 with a mission life of 15 years. Its geostationary position is 88 degrees east longitude. This satellite has 41 KU band transponders of which 12 are leased by ISRO for making available to Indian DTH operators. Videocon D2H uses these 12 transponders to broadcast its ST and HD channels using MPEG-4 compression. Mesat 3 This is a satellite owned by Malaysia East Asia Satellite Systems, which was launched on 11th of December 2006 with a mission life of 15 years. Its geostationary position is 91.5 degrees east longitude. This satellite has 24 KU band transponders of which 13 have been leased by ISRO for making available to Indian DTH operators.
Reliance Digital TV uses 9 of the KU band transponders for broadcasting SD and HD channels using MPEG-4 compression. Sundirect uses 4 KU band transponders for broadcasting only SD channels using MPEG-4 compression and additionally shares 5 of Reliance's transponders for broadcasting free-to-air FTA, encrypted channels. GSAT-15, this is a satellite owned by ISRO which was launched on 10th of November 2015 with a mission life of 12 years. Its geostationary position is 93.5 degrees east longitude. This satellite has 24 KU band transponders of which 5 are being used by DD Freedish for broadcasting unencrypted SD channels using MPEG-2 compression and 1 for broadcasting encrypted SD channels using MPEG-4 compression. Additionally, one transponder is being used by SunDirect for broadcasting only HD channels using HEV compression. NSS-6, this is a satellite owned by SES World Skies, which was launched on 17th of December 2002 with the mission life of 15 years. Its geostationary position is 95 degrees east longitude. This satellite has 50 KU band transponders out of which 12 have been leased by ISRO for making available to Indian DTH operators. Dish TV is using these 12 transponders to broadcast its SD channels using MPEG-2 compression and HD channels using MPEG-4 compression. Like the video, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest industry news and updates.